and welcome back to another video my friends i hope that you're staying healthy and i hope that you're staying safe wherever you are in the world today on the channel i want to talk about these two lenses both non-stabilized lenses this is the canon ef 16 to 35 f 2.8 and this is the canon ef 75 to 300 telephoto lens f4 to f5.6 and before we get started, if this is your first time visiting the channel, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Pablo Diaz. I make videos on digital and film photography. If you like what you see, I'd appreciate that you subscribe and you like this video, but hang out with us and let's have some fun. And for the rest of you that ain't subscribed, but you keep coming back week after week, let's, let's mend that thing. Let's bond and let's get a subscription. All right, let's carry on. All right, y'all, I did something a little bit different today on this video while I tested out these two lenses and the IBIS on the Canon EOS R6. I enlisted my friends and my colleagues at work and I shot 100% of the video, besides this talking head part, at work and within my office and outside of my office. So it was a lot of fun involving my colleagues. In fact, Wes, who you've seen on this channel many a time, he was behind the camera and then I had my good friends Amy, Matt, and Susan help me out and model a little bit for me. All right, let's get into the video, test these lenses out along with the five stops of stabilization that the Canon EOS R6 claims to have. The test here today is to shoot on a camera that has IBIS. It has allegedly five stops of stabilization that will affect all of the images that come out of here. So hypothetically, what we want to test is we want to test this 75 to 300 millimeter lens that is non-stabilized. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually bump it up to 300 to get started. So ideally when you're shooting on any lens, if you're, let's say for example, at 300 millimeters, you wanna have the shutter speed equivalent to about the millimeter of the length of the lens. So one over 300, in this case, we're shooting at one 320th. So I have my lovely model friend over here, Amy, and she's just gonna peek out the window over there and I'm probably about 15 feet away, so I'm super zoomed in. Amy, if you could turn your head just a little bit towards me right there. Okay, so that's at one, one over 320. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the IBIS and I'm gonna move it down to one 125th. So about half of what it should be. And let's see if my shaky hands can handle it. One, two, three. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to 1 60th, half of that. Aiming right there. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna hand hold all the way down at 1 over 1 30th, or sorry, 1 30th of a second. And my shaky hands are shaking. Actually, let me readjust the ISO as well so we can get a good exposed shot at least. Right, right there, and yeah. And so those are the five, four or five shots that I took. And as you can see on the screen, the IBIS is working. And let's go ahead and try a different lens. So let me jump in here really quick and talk about that first shoot with Amy. So the ISO was bumped up to 8,000 for a couple different reasons. The lighting in that room is not particularly good. And since I was wide open at 5.6, that still isn't giving me a lot of light into the sensor. And since I was trying to balance out the shutter speed with the length of the lens at 300 millimeters, at one over 320th, again, that's not giving me much light either. So the only thing I had to use since I wasn't using any other external light sources was I had to bump up the ISO. So that being said, that was the first shot but there was no excuse for not lowering the ISO after I was able to lower the shutter speed and thus allow more light in. So I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I got a little nervous. Okay, I was a little nervous. I was shooting with my friends for the first time and they probably didn't know it. Maybe they did. I don't know, I was stuttering over my word like I am now. <laughs> and I don't know, I got a little nervous. It happens, 
I do work through it in the next couple shoots and get a little bit better. And I will say that the 75 to 300 millimeter lens, it's not the sharpest lens in the world, but it did hold up in this scenario and I was really satisfied with the images and they were very serviceable in terms of being sharp enough to deliver to a client or at least at the very least to put on social media. So I was really happy with these images. Thank you so much, Amy, for participating. Lau, let's get into the second shoot with Matt. Get the video on that in <laughs> slow-mo. Can we so, wet your hair? Someone hit the smoke machine. Now we put the 16 to 35 non-stabilized EF lens on here. And we're gonna shoot at 35 millimeters. We're gonna do the exact same thing. This time I have my shutter speed at 1 50th of a second. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot Matt. Matt's gracious enough to help me on my lunch here. Okay, all right, looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna crank it down to 1 15th of a second. Let me adjust the ISO a little bit here. Same shot. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna go down to one fourth of a second. I'm gonna adjust the ISO a little bit, maybe the f-stop, there we go. So the reality is here, you shouldn't be able to hold one fourth of a second, right? So we'll see. With my shaky hand, let's see what happens. One, two, three, man. Let's, let's check that out, let's check that on screen. Oops. That's not bad. That's not bad. Thank you, sir. So now he steps outside and my third colleague, Susan, is now gonna help me. She was gracious enough to step outside the office and we're gonna shoot some quick shots. Um, but I'm gonna challenge myself. My hands are shaky, but I'm gonna do some push-ups. 20 push-ups. Get it done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 18, 19, 20. All right, arms are pumped. We are at 35 millimeters. Oh, uh, one five hundredth of a second to really freeze motion here. We're in high key area, so there's a lot of uh, sun below Susan, but we're gonna just basically shoot um, kind of a portrait, kind of a headshot here. And we'll, we'll bump down the shutter, or the, uh, yeah, the shutter speed appropriately to the number. So 35, sorry. 35 millimeters at 1 500th of a second, F2, no stabilization on the lens, using the IBIS inside. One, two, three. Okay, it's beautiful. And I can't breathe. Okay, we're gonna get right to it. 1 60th of a second. Let me bump up the aperture. Nice, Susan, and they're looking good. Let me go down to one eighth of a second. And go up to F16. One, two, three. Okay. And whoo, arms are arms are flailing here. I'm gonna try half a second here. Half a second. Alright, one, two, three. Whoa, do you see that? So this one's gonna be a little blown out, but I'll bring down the highlights in post. Let's take a look at it. Take a look at the eyes. I don't know, you probably can't see that on camera, but it's on the, um, the screen right now. It's a little soft around the eyes, but that was holding it for half a second after a nice pump. So, that's my test. Thank you, Susan. Well, that was a ton of fun. I had fun shooting on both the 16 to 35 and the 75 to 300. I wasn't in the best light both indoor and outdoor, but I gotta say this 16 to 35, especially non-stabilized EF lens, it paired nicely with the Canon EOS R6. I thought it took a lot of nice portraits and it's not the best portrait lens in the world, but it did a really good job in a pinch shooting portraits. And I would, I would definitely recommend uh, pairing any non-EF lens. This again lens isn't the sharpest lens, but it did a pretty good job at a very high focal length at 300 millimeters the shakes weren't really there. And so you you could really do some really good work with non-stabilized lenses 
that Canon has or really any other non-stabilized lenses when paired with the Canon EOS R6. Well, give it a shot, try your own thing and get out there and have some fun shooting photography, whatever camera you have, that's okay. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you liked any part of this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. There are about 90% of you that are not subscribed and I know that you keep coming back and watching these videos, which I appreciate. So I'd appreciate a subscription, a like, comment down below. I'd love to chat with you and ring that bell to notify you of new videos when they're posted. All right, until the next one, I love y'all. Peace. And of course, how can I forget a huge shout out to Wes, the cameraman, and my three models, Amy, Matt, and Susan. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. All right, until the next one. Peace.